Do you know about the latest feature in Safari browser where you can create a new profile? Earlier it was not possible but now it is. Now before going ahead, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Let's start the video. Now to create a new profile, all you need to do is you need to open Safari browser and this is how the main page looks like on the left hand side. You can check out your bookmarks and over here you can check out all the saved website. Now to create new profile, you can go and select Safari option on the left hand side top corner. Select that and select create, uh, create profile option. Now under profile section, you get an option of new profile. Select that, you will get a pop-up window like this. Now if you are creating a work profile, you can rename it as work or you can name it as work and you can also select symbols. I'm going to select this one. If you want to check out more symbols, you can click on this three dot and you can check out more symbols over here. You can also select colors over here. You can see for work, I have selected green. If you want to change, you can change as per your requirement. I'm going to keep it green. After selecting the color, next option is favorites. Here you can create a new bookmark folder or else you can use existing one. So. What is your preference? You can go accordingly. I'm going to create a new bookmark folder over here. And once you do everything, select create profile. Now you can see work profile has been created. So if I show you, you can see I have created a work profile. Now, if you want to create another profile, you can simply go on Safari. Once again, you can select manage profiles and over here under profile section, you can simply select plus option and you can create a new one. So if I select personal over here, if I want to keep my work profile separate and my personal profile separate, I can do that. So I'm creating a new one over here. I'm going to change the icon for this one. I'm going to select this particular icon. I'm going to change the color to this one. And yeah, I'm going to select create new bookmark folder. And once I create the profile, now, now you can see I've selected personal profile. Now one good thing is you can add separate extensions for different profiles. If I select work, I can add different extension for work profile as well as for personal. So this is a good thing. Now, currently I'm on personal profile. If I move this window, you can see there is work profile as well. Now, if you want to save any a website, let's say if I open Google in my personal profile, if I want to save it, I can just simply click on share option. I can select add bookmark and over here, I can select work or personal. So if I want to keep this particular website for my personal usage, I'm going to select or uh, I'm going to save this bookmarking personal and then it's done. Add. Now, if I show you the bookmark window under personal, you can see there is Google option. Similarly, under work, there is no profile for now. Uh, there is no uh, bookmark for now because I haven't added anything. But if I want to add anything, I can do that. Now, if I go in work profile, and let's say if I want to search for YouTube and if I want to save YouTube as a bookmark, I'm going to select the share option, add bookmark and here I can select work now. And if I save it, now you can see in bookmark under work, you get your bookmark. Now at the end, if you want to delete any particular profile, you can just simply go on Safari, manage profiles and here you can select that particular profile which you want to delete and you can select this minus icon and you can delete the profile. Now you can see I have deleted the person profile. So this is how simple it is to create a profile in Safari. So it's a good new feature which you can use it. Now a uh, very important information before ending this video, make sure that your OS is updated to Mac OS Sonoma because if you are still using Mac OS Venture or any previous uh, you know operating system you won't get any uh, profile option so to get profile option you need to update to Mac OS Sonoma so that is one thing you need to keep in mind so that's pretty much it for today's video guys if you find this video informative don't forget to subscribe I will see you all in the next one thank you